Okay, I have uh, two questions. The first one is, um, when I am in situations that are a little uncomfortable for me or under uh, some pressure, I used to sweat a lot. I mean, uh, in a, a very obvious that Because that's a manifestation of the vibration that you've got going on. In other words, it's just evidence of the discord, the vibrational discord. Sorry, I, what do you mean? For example, if I am in a meeting, uh, it is very obvious I am wearing a jacket and I have all the jacket sweat. Uh, so what is your advice to um, avoid that? Uh? Our, our encouragement is that before you go to the meeting, that you acknowledge how, how, how good you feel. That you don't need the meeting to produce something for you in order to cause you to feel good that in any case you feel good sort of what we were talking about already here today it is like an emotional um, behavior that I cannot control you well, know what I mean? but, but but you see it, it feels like emotional or physical or biological behavior that I cannot control and the reason that it feels that way is because you haven't controlled it at its root in other words y y y if if you get steady from the if you really think think about the difference here's a good analogy think about the difference between the way you feel if you wake up and it's it's a day off when nobody's really expecting anything of you and you're gonna go do something fun that you want to do think about the difference in the way that day feels and the way a day feels when you have to go do something that you don't feel prepared to do or you don't feel quite ready to do or you feel like somebody's gonna be evaluating how you're doing mm -hmm. there's a difference in yes. the way you feel under those conditions and what we want you all to accomplish is a way to feel good no matter what you're going to be doing in the day but it takes some practice to get into that steady expectation of things going the way you want it to mm -hmm. most people feel the way the conditions call call from them most people do not have control over the way they feel because most people have been trying to control conditions in order to produce the feeling well you're not ever going to sort that out there are going to be a million more books written about how to behave in order to control the way you feel really once you figure out how to control the way you feel before you step into the condition then then you will have figured it out so so what's the meeting about that you're talking about in other words what are you doing in that meeting are there other people there or is it just you? yes so there are other people there and is it are you trying to convince them of something are you trying yes, to persuade yes. them of something yes there are business meetings and so you're trying to persuade and so so you have a an opinion or a stance and and you're wanting to present yourself with enough clarity that you can persuade them yeah. to something yeah. else and so and and what's your expe expectation about that? Are you well, to do a good job? Say again? To do a good job. Are you usually rather persuasive? Yes. And so, and why do you think that you are persuasive? Are you good at what you do? Yes. Are you a good communicator? Yes. Do you think you understand the situation well? Yes. Are there any variables that keep you from from striking a home run every time in other words does it always go exactly the way you want it to go I can't say yes yes the thing is um, well if that's true then it is vibrationally inaccurate that you are in there with the vibration that it, in other words the, those two things do not go together well if if you are really expectant of things turning out the way you want them to be that means the vibration all the way to this manifestation is all in sync but the fact that you're all the way in there and you're sweating bullets that doesn't that doesn't match up it doesn't match up so it's your concern about it not going the way you want it to go that has you introducing split energy into the equation so the condition still matters to you we want the condition not to matter we want you to say things like in any event it's going to be fun and in any event I'm going to collect more data and in any event where it's going to shed light on the situation and and it can't go wrong no matter what and this is just a step toward the unfolding of even more that we want in other words you just soothe yourself emotionally at the outset not at the ending okay. is that making sense to you okay my second question is um, from some years ago I started a spiritual path which was very different in compared to my past life and uh, actually I was very good in that uh, or, or what uh, I 
learned was uh, incredible for me. The thing is, I started to believe and to experience in my life uh, truth like, uh, for example, there is a sentence. I mean, if, if I have only my meditation, that is enough for me. If, if I, nothing, everything is going to be well. So that kind of sentence drove me to a place where I don't have concern at all. And uh, suddenly I realized, for example, in the financial issue, when I had concern and I was working like an animal, I earned a lot of money. Now I don't have any concern. I am very relaxed and everything is going to be okay. The thing is, I cannot match very well that beautiful behavior with the, ha with the fact that I'm um, living in uh, financial abundance. You know what I mean? Well, when you live in this physical world where you can offer action and see immediate results, it's logical that when you begin offering different behavior, that you would, that the results would morph or evolve to match your expectation. It takes a while to become, to show yourself, because words don't teach, to show yourself of the leverage of the power of the universe from alignment. It takes a little while. It, take, it takes a little while to, to stop trying because all of you could with effort accomplish things over here in our in our evolution that we are talking about you can apply action and you can apply words and you can gather together in force and you can you can cause construction or destruction in other words you can make a lot happen with your action but compared to the creation that happens when you get in sync with this energy that creates worlds those are paltry and not usually very satisfying or long-lasting creations and so what we want you all to hear is that we are not trying to, to this is a really wonderful conversation that we're having here one that has been long in coming because there's a tendency as our physical friends listen to us talk about finding the feeling place or accomplishing a mood it feels like if I don't do the things I know how to do, I'm not going to get the results that, in other words, I can't just stay home and meditate, Abraham. I have to go to work. I, yeah. I can't just, I can't just vibrate my way into abundance. And we say, yes, you can. But if you have been depending on the action and the behavior, then, then these words don't feel like enough. So today we are building a bridge between the world of action that so many of you are joyfully involved in we think action is a wonderful thing we are just encouragers of inspired action action that comes from the mood of feeling good not action that comes from the mood of fearing the repercussions if you don't act and so the bridge that we're building the, the key if you will to living happily ever after in the abundance that you're wanting mm -hmm. on all subjects is that as you accomplish, as you accomplish the management of your own mood, which means you're able to translate the vibration of well-being, which is flowing to you all day, every day in a powerful stream. As you're able to maybe first stumble into it, maybe you meditate your way into it, maybe you are influenced by another into it. But as you find your way in vibrational accord with this energy of well-being so that your mood feels good and you acknowledge what you did to accomplish that and you continue to let that be what your deliberate intention to accomplish is i'm going to accomplish alignment and see what comes from that i'm going to accomplish alignment and see what comes from that i'm going to accomplish alignment and see what comes from that I'm going to accomplish clarity and then see what comes from that. I'm going to accomplish that. That's my goal. That's what I'm after. Then what happens is you get another impulse and another and another. And before you know it, you're offering a lot of action. You're in the right place at the right time. You say the right words to the right person at the right time. 
you're inspired you're inspired to zig and zag through this diverse universe with clear feeling about where to go and when to go and what to say and who to say it to in other words you won't be actionless you'll be full of the delicious action that is so satisfying but it will be inspired action because it's coming unconditionally from that alignment of who you are source knows who you are so vividly and knows where you are in relationship to everything that you want to be and is offering you impulses steadily all day every day and the only question worth asking is how receptive am I to the impulses and anything that you're doing for any other reason other than increasing your receptivity to that guidance puts you in the category of the hard-working struggling well-meaning not getting very far in their creation eventually resentful of you others okay D don't you think that uh, for example did you like that we did if i say if my sentence is um i don't need anything um beyond meditation you're talking or, about an affirmation your sentence an affirmation is yeah. what you're talking about yeah my, my question is uh, if that is my main sentence uh, uh, daily basis in some way I, I am putting away all the resources so if what, i say that so what is what is the the sentence um i don't need anything uh, yeah for example because uh, everything is uh, spectacular the way it is so uh I am in the right place and sometimes I am having fun and I'm having fun <laughs> the thing is uh, it's like um... well the reason that that sentence that affirmation could be a really meaningful beneficial one is that if it means I'm in need of nothing there's nothing missing because everything I want is vibrationally present and and the momentum is ensuing the momentum is bringing it to full fruition mm -hmm. that's that's different than a lot of people used to worry that if I proclaim my happiness that then the universe will say well he's happy let's give our attention and goods to others <laughs> and it's not like that it's that in absence of awareness of lack abundance flows powerfully so anything that you say in other words that's why what is if you are keenly aware of what is and what is isn't the way that you want it to be what is can't change it keeps things are changing all the time but it keeps changing to more of the same thing you see and so don't get all twirled up in the words what what you're wanting to accomplish you, you see this is the thing about affirmations there are some teachers who will say to you if you say this and 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 say this pretty soon you'll find the vibration of it and what we're saying is find the vibration of it and let the affirmations be inspired from the vibration don't try don't try to get there from these words mm -hmm. get there and the words will flow so there are a lot of people that say I'm not going to do that anymore and they're doing it while they're not going to do it or or in other words word, words don't matter very much but words are an extension of how you really feel just listen listen to listen to things that people blurt out they are telling you for the most part what they mean what they mean or what they feel people do not hide their feelings well at all not well at all do they can't you tell when someone's happy can you tell when somebody's not can you tell when they're confused their words don't matter their words are ways that they're trying to cover up what's really going on often you do it too words don't matter at all it's the vibrational stance which equals your point of attraction so if you believe that you can say the words and change your vibrational stance then go for it and maybe you can and we're not saying that you can't but we do know that there's a much easier way and the easier way is get happy and watch what words flow from you watch what words flow from you when you're happy watch how clever you are watch how clear-minded you are Watch what good timing you have watch what good placement you have in the universe and watch how well treated you are when you genuinely feel happy and so that is friends that is something that you can do unconditionally you don't need one person or one condition to be different in order for you to be happy you just have to decide that you want to be and stop focusing on things that keep you from it that's it that's it
we have enjoyed this interaction you are lovely to be with it is satisfying to us to feel you in your evolution we felt your expansion today and we shared it with you we felt you come into alignment we shared that with you we are full of eager anticipation of that which is unfolding for you we adore the joy that you are on the precipice of not just the fleeting occasional joy but the steady consistent realization of who you are your worthiness matters to you your acknowledgement of your personal goodness is important to you and while we know it about you we cannot zap you with it we can just hold you in our gaze knowing who you really are and trusting that you are finding your way back to that personal knowledge of self and when you find it ah oh, the garage is gonna fill up real fast <laughs> there is great love here for you and as always we remain stubbornly and joyfully